Link. Tetra. Link. Tetra. Link. Tetra. Link. Tetra. All right, Link. If you sail north, we'll get to that fog where the ghost ship is hiding, and then the Wonder Triplets can take it from there. Finally, Limebeck, I have you in my sights. Oh my god. She found me. I don't know how, but she found me. Who? Who do you think, Link? Jolene! Ah! It's too late! Hurry, Link! Below deck! This is the first time I've been down here. Finally, Limebeck. After 100 years... Wait. Where is he and who are you? Um... I don't know what a linebeck is. This is, um, my ship. So, um, please leave? Nice try, kid, but there's only one person fool enough to pilot a ship this ugly. Oh, screw you. And that's linebeck. So, tell me where he's hiding or taste my blade. Well, I don't normally fight girls. <laughs> But if I must... Ah! Damn it, kid! This isn't over! Linebeck? Where are you hiding? Up goes the linebeck! Ah! Phew, that was a close one. Thanks, kid! Who was that? She sounded like she wanted you dead. Kind of an ex. That explains it. This ocean is a real nut house. Oh, son of a... What's going on, Linebeck? I'm coming down. Linebeck, what is the holdup down here? Look, Wink, uh, the, uh, uh, the ghost ship must have done this. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, what's that light over there? No, 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 it's the ghost ship. And what do you think we should do about that? Well, I could work on the engine while Link takes the helm. I don't know if that's a good idea. Sure it is, and we can help! <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon we can help this fool out. <laughs> I can steer a ship. How hard could this one be? Go straight, Link. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, man, it's uh, this way. Well, I think it's the other way! Okay, okay, okay. If you three don't settle down, I'm going to turn this ship around. So just be calm. Let me drive. See? I told you I could do it. This is the ghost ship, huh? Full of cash, francs, dollars! Ghost spirits, monsters, gold, silver, rupees, rats, bugs, splinters, treasure, booty, riches, creaky walls, loose floorboards, uh... Um, Lake, I, um, I, I think I'm catching a chill, and, uh, I know going inside would make me a bit more chilly, and, uh, we can't have that have happening. Uh, I mean, uh, this place is freezing, and I don't want to get frozen myself, you see. <laughs> you understand what I'm going for, aren't you? So you're staying out here. We heard it all before. Link and I are going to do the real work. I'll come in once I get warmed up. Just you wait. Tetra... Tetra, where are you? Oh, it's you! Link, you've come to save us! Do I know you? I have heard great things about you, Link. You're so brave and strong, and not at all annoying. Well, I guess she hasn't met Tetra. I am the youngest of four sisters of the House of Cubis. I'm looking for my friend Tetra. You haven't seen her, have you? Bah! 
fallen. She is fallen. What? Oh, never mind that. She must be with one of my older sisters. If you find them, I'm sure you'll find Tetra. It's sure lucky that this nice little girl was able to survive in the ghost ship for so long. Don't you think it's kind of odd? I mean, doesn't she seem a bit off? Well, she's our best hope, so we better help her. You were a fool to help us, Link. Thanks, Celia. The Reaplings were supposed to scare you away. But since they couldn't do the job, it's up to us. <laughs> Let's see if you can keep up with our vicious volleys. Oh, so it's just like when I fought Phantom Ganon. No, it's new and never been done before. No, this seems pretty standard for me. You may have bested us, but that doesn't change the fate of your friend. So she was a key the whole time. And she would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for that meddling me and my fairy too. ruh -ro. Tetra. Oh no. Don't tell me this is Tetra. Hey Link, I warmed up. Uh, huh, this room's empty. This treasure must be on the lower levels then, huh? Blindbeck, can't you see Tetra is in trouble? Hmm. Well, I got the impression that she was hard-headed, but this is ridiculous. I'd like to see how you would look if your life force was drained from your body. Okay, now this just does not make sense. Less sense than you getting to an island. How did you find the ghost ship? Link, you're a smart guy. Uh... 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 Well, you've made it this far, so you deserve to be told the truth. I am not merely Oceus. I am the Ocean King. These seas are my domain. I was attacked by an evil most foul. His name is Bellum. His evil stretched over my domain, leeching my very life force. Sounds like Ganon. As I was saying, all creatures in this world possess a sacred power. That power is called life force. The sand of ours is a physical manifestation of this power. I struggled against that evil as he drained my life force, but he was always one step ahead of me, the Goku to my Vegeta, and I was overcome. I was dragged to the depths of the Temple of the Ocean King, where my life force continues to drain away. So... When I get the Sand of Hours from the bosses I defeat, I'm doing what Bellum's doing to you? Where do you think they got that life force? Bellum continues to spread his evil and creates more foul monsters. But the worst of all are phantoms bred to protect the temple, clad in impenetrable armor made to be untouchable. He's like a bad fanfic author, making his OCs overpowered Mary Sue's. So basically, every fanfic author. Not every fanfic author. Well, 90% of them. Alright, well, story time is over, but I have to ask. Essentially, you're the wind fish. Oh crap, 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 crap. No, I'm completely different from the wind fish. Shit, 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 shit. So you're not gonna turn into a giant whale with wings. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I won't have wings. God, oh god, this is so oh good. Jesus Christ. But you will be a whale. What do you think about this, Lineback? I wasn't doing anything. Your friend has a strong spirit, Link. The ghost ship was drawn to her. But not strong enough to keep her from turning to stone. Wait a second! Someone's stealing my bit!
Wait just a second. Old man, are you telling me there's no treasure on this ship? That is what I'm saying. Ugh. Thankfully, Tetra is still alive and can be revived as long as I get the rest of the sands of ours. This is just great. Nothing good ever happens to Linebeck. It means everything bad happens to him. Ugh, I was only doing this for the treasure. Linebeck? What about being a man of the sea? You know what? No. I'm done. I don't care about you, and I don't care about Tetra. I'm out of here. So the true colors of Linebeck are finally shown. You don't care about anyone but yourself. That's right, and you can't use my ship anymore, understand? You know... As the Ocean King, I do have the power to grant wishes. And if you help... What are you waiting for, kid? Ship out, anchors away. I said move it. <laughs> Just like I said, all he cares about is himself. I'm sorry, Link. Normally I would fight Bellum myself, but... You're far too lazy. Come on, Link, grab your little stone friend. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, Tetra. I'll get you out of this mess soon. You just wait, Link. Link, Otis told us that the blacksmith Zaus can tell us how to defeat Bellum. And once that's taken care of... Yeah, yeah, we know. You're gonna wish for your golden toilet. <laughs> Who cares about a golden toilet? I want a golden bathroom! Yes! I can see it now. Money tub! Bejeweled sink! Golden shower! <laughs> Too much information, Lineback. That's not what I meant, and you know it. Now, now get up there and start sailing! Land ho! Oh, that was quick. Um, excuse me, Mr. Blacksmith? Could you stop hammer time? You must be looking for Bellum. You're brave enough, even though you don't have many years on your side. Dude, I've been doing this shit for like... Ten years. Okay. Um, so, what is your relationship with the Ocean King? I am descended from a race of people sworn to protect this world from Bellum, using weapons forged specifically to do just that. What you need is one of these weapons. The Phantom Sword. Okay, great. Could we borrow it, please? Oh, no, I don't have it. Wait, what? Jerome Bellows, Songs in the Key of Love. <laughs>